Hello, I'm Alan Rosner, and I'm the Associate Director for the Institute for Sustainable Environment at Clarkson University. At Clarkson's Institute for Sustainable Environment, we have two undergraduate programs, one in environmental health science and one in environmental science and policy. Both programs are interdisciplinary or what we call multidisciplinary. They involve courses across the campus, engineering, science, business, integrated into these two degrees so students get a very wide array of courses that allow them to understand complex environmental issues. The environmental health science program is very much focused on human exposure to adverse agents, chemicals, radiation, biological agents, how they affect our health, and how we actually prevent the, the exposures and minimize our risk of adverse disease. I would stress that environmental health science is multidisciplinary and that's the reason I went into it is the fact that I could go into all different sciences. I came in as a general science major and I chose environmental health science for the fact that I could do all different sciences and get a degree within it and I happen to really like it now. There's a lot of lab work so you'll take a lot of um, biology labs and physics labs, the basic labs, and then once you get into industrial hygiene labs, you'll come in and take air samples in different environments. You can either go outdoor environments or indoor environments and take a lot of air sampling or um, make sure that noise levels are up there. It entails tons of different things depending on what you want to focus on. I like that it's uh, in an interdisciplinary. There's a lot of diverse classes that we get to take, so if you have interest in a lot of different things, it's easy to kind of spread that out. It's also kind of easy to individualize what you're doing. Like you have to meet requirements and take certain amounts of courses that, that fill those. You have to take chemistry classes, biology classes, and physics classes, but you can kind of mix in things that go along with your interests. For example, I'm taking anatomy and physiology, which is a biology course, because I'm interested in that. It doesn't necessarily a part of this major, but it covers my biology credits. I interned for a pharmaceutical company and they made uh, pills there and I worked on air monitoring assessments and it was a good experience working with applying what I've learned in the labs to actually working with people because it, it was a big change and a good thing about this program that prepared me for that was using the instrumentation I had all that down. My favorite class last uh, was actually last last fall uh, it was uh, methods and analysis where we did both the sampling as well as the actual analytical part of the samples, running the samples. Uh, and one uh, big project that we did was uh, measuring uh, pollutants in a, in a paint shop, uh, or in an auto body shop uh, here in Potsdam. So we looked at how the pollutants affect uh, through inhalation as well as uh, skin exposures, which is very interesting. Now let's take a look at the environmental science and policy program. Students studying environmental science and policy look at the science and the policy and how they impact ecosystems. And this contrasts to the environmental health science program where we're looking at human health and human impacts. Here we're very much looking at the ecosystem. Students will take a look at a wetlands or a forest land and how human activity has impacted that. And to understand that fully, they have to take a lot of science, uh, chemistry, biology, physics, and so forth, as well as they take a bunch of policy courses, environmental law, environmental ethics, environmental policy. And this array of courses in science and policy allow them to understand the complex problems that we face. There are a few classes where you need to sit down and actually focus on the law aspects of it, but most of it through this program was not looking exactly at how the laws were created, but the effects of those laws had on the environment. I think it's fun. I mean, it integrates both. If you like the environment, you can still go outside and do things, but you're not stuck reading a law book every day either, you know. You can learn about law and you can see how policies are created and how they're mandated in the United States, but then you go outside and you can do a water quality testing lab or learn about the biology of plants. So that's interesting. The professors are really well connected. They I'm getting emails every week and it's, it's early, relatively early in the semester so the emails start to speed up during the end about uh, internships and uh, study abroad and people that are looking for uh, or jobs that are being offered to us. So my inbox is full right now, I gotta go 
go check my email. I've been at Clarkson for now 18 years, and during that time period, overseeing the Environmental Health Science Program and the Environmental Science and Policy Program, we've had great success in moving students through these programs into a lot of different careers, successful careers with large companies, with consulting firms, with government agencies. The sustainability aspect, um, I mean, if you just look at the campus in general and what they're doing, they're really taking some steps in the right direction. Um, TAC is a whole green building, um, and actually as you walk in, they've just got a whole thing about how the building operates and how it's greener and more sustainable. And I think the campus as a whole is taking a step in that direction. Our students have enough flexibility in our built curriculum to minor in programs housed in other departments in the sciences and in engineering and in the, the School of Business. Um, so students uh, can leave with the kinds of skills that they want to have with an environmental focus and bring those skills to the employers and they're the kinds of schools, uh, skills that employers are seeking.